Hey YouTube, this is a video on how to get Windows products and games on your Mac. And it's like basically getting Steam and Counter Strike to run on your Mac. Plus, like, whenever you download a regular, win regular Windows download, like this one, IPSP, it was Windows, it just, you just download it and you're able to open it. So, all you have to do, you open up your browser and you go to codeweavers.com just to begin with this software isn't free you have to pay for it um, you can look for a torrent on it for, with booze on my other videos but I like getting it the legal way so all you have to do is click crossover for Mac um, well, this is Crossover Professional. It's like just basic Windows products, not games. So I got I got the um, I got a bundle. So I got Crossover Mac and Crossover Games. I'm not sure what it was called, but Crossover Games lets you run Counter Strike and all those Steam games and all those Windows games. Like, see right here, it says Counter Strike Source, Team Fortress, all of that right there. So basically, you can try it, the trial, and when you get to the trial, if you want to download Steam, you look at the supported products. Um, let's open it right here. Okay, so this is the basic interface of Crossover Games, and the, it comes right here, Crossover Installer. As you can see, Steam, Steam from CD, like all the games from CD and then Half-Life and all that but say you want to download from a CD or something else all you have to do is install unsupported software and do all that or when you put in the CD you double click it it will show up somewhere in your Mac interface and this opens up automatically that's what I like about it if you are downloading a regular Windows product it opens it automatically knowing that you're downloading a Windows product making it easier for you to use and it's way easier than doing anything else like using Darwin Wine that one really sucks but you try it now I got the trial so I'll show you the interface and some of the games it can play so let's open it up I'm using Steam right now I'm gonna run Counter Strike Source um, everything runs at its native speed, so you don't worry. You don't have to worry about it's not gonna work at regular speed of a computer. It works really, really good at its native speed. It's not even funny. It works. So it's gonna load Steam. Um, in the meanwhile, I am gonna pause the video until Steam loads. Okay, Steam just loaded. It was about 30 seconds after I paused the video, it loaded, so you can tell it's running pretty at native speed. Here's the messages it tells you when you log in. A lot of people have a problem with getting their games back. They think that they have to make a new account and get Counter Strike all over again. All you have to do is when you download Steam via right here in the installer, all you have to do when you, you log into your old account, and then from there it comes up with all the games you had installed before and then you just reinstall it easy as that um and everything works at the fullest like the community and stuff friends servers everything and the servers obviously work you can play online and the settings everything um it, it's really easy to use I haven't had a problem with it yet and I'll show you the gameplay of Counter Strike but I can't show you like what the screen recorder because it messes up Counter Strike and it slows down the gameplay which makes it lag but so far I've been getting around 76 FPS to 114 FPS with my iMac 2008 so I'm gonna stop the video right now to switch to my regular screen. Uh, I mean, my cell phone's video. So.
please bear with me with the bad quality of my cell phone video. So that's all, and I'm gonna switch to the cell phone right now. I'm back. I'm um, sorry about the bad quality of my cell phone. Um, I, I can't hook up my regular camera with the FireWire yet. I didn't get FireWire. But anyway, I'm going to show you the gameplay of Counter-Strike Source and opening it. So, let's go to our installed games, open it, and as you can see, the regular Counter-Strike Source screen is opening right now. And it's pretty fast running at native speed. Uh, basically, Counter-Strike right there. I'll show you a little gameplay. So, we're going to just find servers. And I'll put the sound to show you that the sound works. And you go to history, favorites, all that. Um, right now there's no favorites. Fresh. Okay, um, let's see. I will come back to you guys when I pick a server that has a couple of people playing on it. So I will be back. As you can see, it's the regular load screen of Counter-Strike. Once again, I'm really sorry that I couldn't get the screen recorder to work. Um, it's about to start the gameplay. Alright, gameplay is on. And I will show you Counter-Strike working on my Mac. And as you can see, it's all the same trees and stuff. Unless it's the spectate. Oh, on. And the console even works. And that's Counter Strike working on my Mac. And you can play now. Answer. Obviously, we got a hacker playing. There's basically no lag on the map with Cash Rate. That's what I like about it. And this is just some gameplay of CSS. There we go. And just to prove that it's on my Mac, you can see the little Mac logo right there. And I will switch to spectate so you guys can have a little bit more footage. Um, I'll pick a different server because if you guys want to see better footage, so bear with me. Alright, so I picked the better server that has more footage and more people playing. As you can see, it works very good. I am so satisfied with the graphics. Um, you can't see the FPS rate right now, but it's kind of right down there somewhere. Um, but right now, it's running at 74 FPS as still mode, and all the graphics are set to high. And that's just basic gameplay. If you set the graphics to medium, you might get 100 FPS, but one time I was playing it high and I got 114 FPS, which I thought was pretty good. Oh. Let's see, you can switch into any spectate mode, and I am very satisfied of getting Windows products and games like Steam to work on my Mac. So, that's basically it for this tutorial. Remember to subscribe, and I... I am very sorry for the poor quality of my camera, and bye.